Good afternoon, Kesley. Abangela, what's the intention behind a dialogue of this nature? Okay, basically, the three provinces here in, here in the Eastern Cape, Mpumalanga and Bozul and Natal, have sort of gathered here in Grahamstown for three days to try and sort of seek out solutions uh, to the challenge that is facing the country in as far as food uh, security is concerned. Basically, they are here to share their experiences on a grassroots level in as far as, you know, uh, poverty and hunger is concerned. How are they sort of going through, you know, daily challenges in as far as, you know, uh, agricultural uh, developments are concerned, saying that there's still a bit of a lack in terms of know how they could have mm, mm. uh, uh, plant, uh, plant food uh, and stuff like that so it's a bit of a challenge for them so yes. they are trying to sort of find out solutions as to how they sort of move mm. forward in terms of trying to, to, to care high rate of poverty Abangile, some of those challenges you're talking about relate to ecological health and of course food security which is still a, a huge challenge in south africa right now we should not have people dying of hunger uh, or not sure where their next meal will come from yet that's exactly what is happening how did delegates delve into this abongele uh, delegates here from these three provinces saying that they feel if maybe there could be a, a, a proper, you know, integration between themselves as local organizations, you know, and of course the, the provincial governments, in a bit to try and meet them halfway with resources, because they think that they've got all the land that they keep, they keep always utilized for, for agriculture and stuff like that, especially here in the Eastern Cape, and they just feel that government is, a bit, is, a still, is still a bit distant from them. That's according to Eastern Cape Agricultural Research Project Director, that is now Lali Nath that you know they are appealing to government to please sort of come forward as they have been trying to oppose them to actually help them get a bit of funding as in as far as in as far as that is concerned and of course you know proper resources to be able to to utilize the land that we've got in the province in as far as agriculture is concerned so these are those are some of the issues that they are bringing to the fore saying that there could be a difference you know in as far as hunger is concerned and of course poverty if they could be sort of the help from, from, from local government. Mm. Abangela, how are our food insecure communities, especially our rural poor coping, uh, did they share some of their experiences? Yes, indeed. It's, it's, it's quite a dire situation, Karasmi, uh, because people will, the, the reality is that people are suffering from hunger. Many families in the deep rural areas still you know, find it hard to survive on a daily basis, not knowing really what they are going to eat for supper or whatever, or what, they are gonna, what, what their next meal is going to be. You know, some of the experiences, are, they like depend, like, like currently now, you know, there's, there's it's harvesting period, you know, there's fresh maize, there's fresh pumpkin and everything. We saw a bit here that they, they were demonstrating, but it's going to last for a certain period now. Come November, come August, at the end of the year, they are going to be struggling as far as trying to find something to eat. But they think, though, still, that if maybe they could have, like, your your small agricultural, agricultural tools to, to help them, like your spade and all your water and cans and stuff like that, they, they could always try and plant you know, some vegetables and everything else right throughout the year, but there is no, there's nowhere else for them to go in as far as to mm. seek that, that assistance and sort of try and help them, you know, grow in as far as agriculture yes. is concerned. However, they think that, having, all, having said that, they, they, have, they have other avenues that they are sort of uh, trying out as doing, you know, uh, doing some small mm. projects in their communities and, and then sell their products into local stores and local uh, Abongile. areas. Abongile, almost 9 million tons of food are wasted every year in our country. Now, the large majority of this food won't even make it to the markets uh, thanks to weak distribution mechanisms. How, uh, how critical is it for us to heighten public awareness of the world food program, the world food problem rather? Okay. Uh, across across the board, when I when I spoke to some of the delegates here uh, in Grahamstown Road University, Karachi, they feel that uh, you know uh, more has uh, still needs to be done in as far as making people aware that they need to be careful of, of, of what they, they buy in the store, or, and they must be in a position to be able to to, to to make predictions and say that the food that I'm buying now will last me for a certain period of time, so that there isn't wastage. And however, they they think that it's Still, there's still a long way to go because people don't really seem that much aware of, of what not to do and what to do in a started to conserve food. So they are actually going to sort of uh, continue throughout the evening discussing one of, uh, one, one, that is one of the many challenges that lie ahead. And then, of course, they'll be paving a way forward tomorrow as their last day in a started where to from here and how are they going to try and reach out to government for more assistance in as far as our country is concerned in South Africa. There's ABC's Abongile Dumaka. Thank you for your time. Now there's another...